This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast for Tuesday, May 10th today, Belleville, Ontario, Canada. The great week of weather continues into a trash bash weekend. Mm -hmm. Hannah Brown's going to be on the podcast tomorrow and on the show. I took part in that, like legitimately, last year for the first time. I mean, through the radio station, we've always done stuff. Yeah. But to just be to do the it on your own. average person to grab <laughs> a garbage bag and One of the out. commoners That's out there. Right. Go out and do it. Get on the side of Not the road. Not just a photo op, but exactly. to actually yeah. participate. <laughs> Not to wait and see if there's an award or something. <laughs> award, and how did shirt. you find it? Because I laughed when you said... You took a bag. You thought you'd cover a certain amount, of, a certain yeah. distance. Well, I thought and- I'll do everything on <laughs> Moira beside the tracks. Yep. From Walbridge Loyalist down to Montrose, where I live. So that I thought would be I'll just what? Go for a a cl- two kilometers. About that. Yeah. And I think I filled my bag, <laughs> one side, maybe, a hundred and twenty-five meters. I believe it. And I laugh not because, well, I am. I'm picturing you doing it, so that makes me chuckle. But. I laugh because it filled up so quickly. Yeah. And not because it's funny and not because it's a good thing. Yeah. It's just like, yep, not surprised. It, it amazes me when the snow melts, just how people treat. And I'm not saying it's done purposely. Right. It, it is sometimes. It gets tossed out a window. But the amount of garbage that finds its way into our ditches and roadways just baffles me. Occasionally, because I do see it. Our garbage and recycling is picked up on Wednesday morning. For me, mm-hmm. Tuesday is recycling day because that's the day I put it out. So yeah. in my head, I think it's Tuesday, but it's really Wednesday. Um, when it gets windy, some mm-hmm. of that stuff, I think, just flies out of people's recycling. Yeah. I don't think and, everybody and litters. No, yeah. I'm, no, I don't because think that either. When, and when it's beside train tracks, I mean, it gets it's blown around. It's blown and, around and mm-hmm. it's blown into the bushes. So it's the crawling under all of those bushes <laughs> along the side of the road yeah, to, to get dig at, it out. A can, mm-hmm. uh, a cup, some straws, paper bag, and at my advanced trash bashing age, the back of mm-hmm. the stooping and the walking Certainly. and the carrying. Yeah. It's a young man's game, Jared. <laughs> <I'm> telling <laughs> you. But necessary. It's it, it, you know it is. It is necessary, unfortunately. Yeah. It and is. it's fun. Kids love it. You know, as long as, and you, you can get gloves and when you get your, your Well, packages. when you register, don't you? Yeah. yeah I was going to say yeah. there's a package you get because they will supply you with bags and gloves, which are You go pick key. it up. That's yeah. what we're, we're going to have her tomorrow. We're telling you about it now. So if you normally do it, it's like, okay, A, it's Saturday. Mm-hmm. Weather's going to be great. Here it is. It's back. It's going to happen. And the other thing I learned last year is that uh, I did mine on Thursday. You drop the garbage off on Saturday. You don't have to just do it on Saturday. Saturday is a day that you can take it all in and throw it out. So if you do shift work or whatever, and Saturday isn't the best day to, you know, be able to pick up trash, do do what I did. I did the Thursday afternoon, and then that left me Friday if I thought I had it in me to go back out, <laughs> and I didn't. And did you? No. <laughs> because it was full. I thought, I'll do some now. Yeah. I'll do one side today and the other side tomorrow, and it was full like a third of the way down one side which I found disappointing. And, and do, do they only want you to do one bag? No, no, okay. no, no, no. All My right. body said one bag. Hey, gotcha. Mr. Volunteer. Okay. I just thought, and not that, of course, anybody would stop them, but I thought the expectation was, if you fill a bag, that would be great. That'd if be we can get 50 people out who do a bag, oh my gosh. that'd be amazing. If everybody around here did one bag, mm-hmm. it would be like the cleanest. It'd be like Disney World, where garbage doesn't last 30 seconds. But I think that's, that's a fair seconds. number. Yeah. I would say that 50 people will partake in the different communities. Oh, it's lots. Say, yeah. Yeah. Lots of people. Because it's not just here in Belleville or Quinney yep. West. It also incorporates Tyndanaga as well as the county. So, And all of the volunteers who will work at these depots where mm-hmm. you drop Collecting the garbage and, off. Yep. And so it's uh So it's we're going to really talk good. about that tomorrow. She's going to be in tomorrow <laughs> With to Anna. tell you everything we just said. Because and a little bit more. Mm, not a lot more, but you know, it's because she is the expert. It gives more credence. Exactly. There's more weight to her. We know to that it. you want would rather hear "quote unquote" the expert, right? Talk about it than us. Than these two Joe clowns, Schmose. yeah, who know a lot about garbage. We do a three-hour <laughs> show and a podcast every day. We know our trash. Tomorrow, all, tomorrow's going to be a big day. So there's that. Also, McHappy Day. Tomorrow, I love that one, which we will talk about as well. 
I look yeah. forward to. I really missed that stuff when we were in our in the peak of the pandemic when everything was literally shut down. I did really miss that stuff. McHappy Day used to be more enjoyable than it is now. <laughs> is it because of me? In the old days. In the sense that your co-host was different. <laughs> in the old days, they used to let you crawl out oh. of the drive through windows into did people's they really, cars. Did they really, though, Mark? Let me rephrase that. In I the think old you did days, it one day. <laughs> in the old days, they never anticipated <laughs> that somebody would crawl out of a window into people's cars, so it wasn't discouraged. <laughs> And, and then, then I can't remember who used to do it and ruined it for everybody. Oh, yeah, oh, it yeah. was me. Okay. So you used to be able to have fun like that. And now they tell you don't do that. And now you don't have any fun. I was going to say, you still oh, have fun. fun. Now you're finding other ways. Less fun. physically to have fun. Well, you kind of, yeah, you have to. <laughs> things have happened in the last few years. Yeah, you're you not need allowed to, to yeah. No, you need to respect people's <laughs> space <laughs> physically. But also for health reasons, right. you need to be more careful yeah. and aware. Yeah. But people would have change in their vehicles and I would crawl no, in and get didn't. it. No, I used to crawl out of it and I'd crawl into the vehicle and then I'd crawl back into the restaurant. That was when I was a little oh bit God, trimmer and fitter. I'd meet so and that, many and people they that way. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you did. You people. never got hurt? No one no, took a swing at you or no. with their purse or well, I got nothing? my heart broken once, but other than that, <laughs> you know... You meet people, you just, you catch an eye, it's a glance, it's a glimpse, and then they're gone. drive throughs And then we raise all kinds of Think money for Children's that. Foundation. That's someone's day every day. Yeah. Full of heartbreak. And- Full of heartbreak. <laughs> How can you work drive throughs You meet so many people, and then they're gone. And then they leave. They just oh, leave you there. Don't get attached. It's a lot of fun. Well, I wonder if we'll be in the drive through We were, well... I'm trying to think, were we there last year in a much we different capacity? We were squares games and stuff like that. I don't think they did it last year, a couple of years ago. And uh, you can do squares games. There well, were we were still in the drive-thru. We weren't working, I'd say, on the headset with the drive But we were, we were Right. I've done that before, too, where I get to do that. And that's oh a gosh, lot of fun. I am so sorry That is a lot of fun. Through. Hey, welcome to Make Happy Day. Because you were wonderful, and you were wonderfully funny. But I do realize that some people don't. It catches some people off guard. Yeah, that's called my wife's family. <laughs> there are people that don't find it funny. And well, a lot of my family. they don't find it funny. I know. It's just you're so dry sometimes. And the thing is, <laughs> if you show up on McHappy Day, we know it's here. We know it's been I here would almost think since that, like February. Yeah. Mo- most people, they either forget or they just go and that's like, oh, it's McHappy Day, right. And that's the surprising part because I would think there's been enough about McHappy Day that by mm-hmm. now, if you show up at McDonald's tomorrow, you have to expect it. Right. You have to know it's something's coming. Right. Something's going to happen. But We're going to be on Dundas over at Bayview, so know that something's going to happen because Mark will be there tomorrow. Right. And um, and I'm sorry. <laughs> because I just want it to be memorable. You know what? And I've lived my whole <laughs> life this way. You know what? Everybody you just want wants a story. a story. Just want a story. Everybody That's so wants, true. I'm just going to give you a story. I'm going to give you something. You're not going to buy. I went to McDonald's and idiot. You know, something. Like, dumb guy. <laughs> I know. I'd say entertainer. Okay. But I don't and I don't care. Put a smile on my face for the rest of the day. Self-deprecating to the tenth degree. But I it don't is care. a lot of fun. It is a we lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun. And yes. Bob Doyle as an owner, as you know, just won like the grand pooba of all awards from the Chamber of mm-hmm. Commerce. Yes. In the business hall of fame for his work with McDonald's and the community. So of course, McHappy Day is his business and helping out the Children's Foundation. Oh my gosh. And he lets me go it's and be me. I don't know what his problem is. I think <laughs> I don't. I don't think anybody tells him what I really do. Maybe that's what it is. He never <laughs> lets McDonald's what, know. This is what you really do. This is Mark in his, all his glory. And they're going to be like, tomorrow. "Wait a minute! This is the reason why we're not allowed to crawl out through drives or something." It was this guy, <laughs> and you invite him back. Well, people know him. It's raising money for kids. It's for the kids, for it's goodness sake. It's all for the kids tomorrow. Lot Children's of fun. Foundation going to benefit. Lot of fun. It's going to be great. And speaking of laughs, our buddy Derek Edwards is going to be in town on Friday at the Empire Theater. Comedian, a Shantero production. Caught up with him yesterday. Derek Edwards is going to be at the Empire Theater, a Shantero production on stop number three. 
of a 12-city tour in the month of May. Boy, how good does it feel to get out of the house and on the road? Oh, my. You got no... Well, of course, you have an idea. Listen to the way you ask the question. Yeah. <laughs> and you made it real. <laughs> it's like opening a door on a morning like this. I'm sure you're under blue skies in Belleville, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. In praise of the beautiful. ostrich, how much of this show is based on what we've gone through in the last two years? Well, you know, it, it kind of flavors everything to a degree. And, uh, of course, you'll see the desperation of my eyes for things to go well, not having worked in two years. <laughs> so maybe that'll add a certain nuance to the delivery. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's got to it's got to uh, touch on a few things. But I'm hoping the main uh, impetus of the, uh, having been through the COVID is people will be in that post, you know, almost post-prohibition, oh, my God, we can get hammered again <laughs> yeah. in the 20s. They'll be well, up for a good night out. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you performed at the Empire before, Derek? Oh, yeah. This, I think, is maybe number four. Number coming four. Out. Okay. Beautiful. So it's going to be like coming home, in a sense. In a sense. I mean, I I spent some time in Belleville. I like you, you know. I, down that stretch of the 401, I spent so much time in all the little towns. Mm-hmm. You know, even though with the apple, you know, and I always forget, is that Colburn or Colberg? And I'm sure they get angry when I ask them. That's right, because there's one of each within hailing distance of each other. <laughs> well, who knows what the, the, you know, the various kind of little competitive barbs are going to be about down there. But I remember Belleville, I was doing Dolan's. Which probably doesn't even exist anymore. No, right? you are correct, yes. sir. Do you remember it? You guys? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And quite a few people would remember it. It's it's unfortunate that it's not here anymore. Yeah, and uh, by the way, we 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 all blame you. So, <laughs> <laughs> Derek Edwards is going to be the Empire Theater. Get there before he shuts that place down too. That's coming up on uh, Friday. So, how have you prepped for this? Then you've been doing this show in a mirror. Like, how, how have you been able yeah. to, to get this one going? <laughs> Well, that is uh, the least inspirational matter for me to prep. <laughs> uh, instead, though, no. well, you know, you kind of got to get over it. There hasn't been a lot of practice stages, but I've kind of been uh, up against that a number of times all over uh, doing these uh, theater shows. You know, I did. It's a 90 minute show. Very few uh, stages will allow some guests to wander in, do a quick hour and a half <laughs> while the rest of the show waits to go on. <laughs> so. Uh, sometimes uh, just juggling in the wind is part of the game, um, but I mean, li- literally, it's it's not that different from uh, from other shows. And I think uh, the the fear factor is going to really make my motivation go through the roof. <laughs> I feel it's a real chance; it's going to be the best thing ever. Always that fear. <laughs> now we're free to listen to your uh, your bit of a ticket to get there. Still available at theempiretheater.com. dot com. Derek Edwards in praise of the ostrich is going to be here on uh, Friday night. Thanks, man, for stopping by and picking up the phone even though you yeah. had called us playing you knew it was us. <laughs> Even knowing it was you guys, yeah. I think we want to cut it out, you guys. It's been a pleasure on my part. Have a great morning and thanks for all the energy. Well, thank you. Get your tickets. It's a Friday the 13th. He couldn't have planned that any better. I'm not sure. He, he opens really up could've. in Meaford on Wednesday. And then he's where? Aurelia, I think on Tuesday. I think you're right, yeah. Aurelia. And then us. Today. And then Kingston. And he's doing like... Kingston's after us. Five shows yeah. in five nights. He's doing the whole... 12 night stop in, Well, he's been locked up weeks. for two years. Oh, my so gosh. now he's yeah. out. He's loose. And I, I get the impression he's a little nervous. Yeah. About hitting the stage. But hasn't everyone been a yeah. little nervous? Yeah. Excited? But nervous. He, so he alluded to that good. when he said, you know, it's sort of the high wire act. And that's yeah. that's part of the adrenaline rush of, let hey, let's see if it still works. Yeah. You know, not just, he's funny. I think he's funny. But, he is funny. You know, we're two years after that whole pandemic. Mm-hmm. Like, are we going to laugh at everything? Like, we're, are our standards really high? Or, hey, for me, you want to get up and tell me jokes. I love you. You The fact that you just want to try and entertain me, thank you. I appreciate exactly. it. It's not that standards oh, are man. high. Of course, they want to. you want good entertainment. But, yeah, I think people just want to get out and be entertained again. I think yeah. I think they will open welcome him with open arms Friday because they just want to enjoy it. Yeah. And and he'll be fine and it'll yep. be great. And we we wish the Empire Theater all the best because he played Dolan's and then it closed. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Did he say he played Dolan's? He was familiar with Dolan. So, yes, something happened with Dolan. I think he played Dolan's. Did he? Okay. And then it closed. Did they have comedians? They okay. did that I night. I didn't know that. They did not that night, that's for sure. 
Dolan's. So tomorrow, wow. that's going to be the case. We'll have <laughs> Hannah on the show, talking trash bash, and uh, all of our friends out of McDonald's. We're going to round them up as well for a happy day tomorrow. So you have yourself a great Tuesday. It's Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Up by 11 o'clock most mornings. A little bit of what we talked about during the day and get you set for tomorrow when you wake up with Mark and Charity mornings on 95.5 Hits FM. Have a great one.